All right, so my latest Sun 2 has just arrived, which uh, I'm quite surprised. I only ordered it yesterday uh, from Sun 2, and it came this morning, so I'm a bit surprised about that. So this is the Sun 2 Core Regular. Uh, those who know the Sun 2 Core know that um, this is the one it normally comes in. It's the all black, which has a just blacked out screen. Uh, and I actually didn't realize they made a regular version of it. Uh, I was just surfing uh, the net on uh, Sun 2's website and I saw this. Now, they are discontinuing this model and uh, they've reduced the price, but I think they made a mistake when I ordered the watch. Uh, it actually, uh, full retail, it's uh, 269 pounds. Uh, but yesterday it was, uh, let me just see, I'm sorry, I'm looking through the viewfinder so it's a bit difficult to see where all the uh, places are to cut. Uh, so it was on their website for uh, 80, I'm sorry to cut, um, it was on the website for £86. So I managed to get this for £86 and I think they've made a mistake because when I checked this morning, the price had gone back up, but not to the 169. Now it's 25% off, uh, and I think it's about 200 and something, but I'll put a link there. Uh, so this is what the watch, now these are usually quite annoyingly to get out because they have this cushion in the back. So I'm gonna take it out of here first, which is a bit of a pain. And the box is quite basic, um, the instructions are in there, and um, what's this? Oh, extra uh, bits for the strap. Oh, that's quite good. I didn't get that last time. I think this is the manual's in there, but I don't really need that because I have already got one, so I know how it works. So let me just tilt the camera down. There we go. And it's got all of its stickers, so let's take the sticker off. Is it not? There's a tab. There we have it. Let's get this all set up. There we go. I was a bit worried then. I thought maybe that's why it's so cheap because the battery's dead. So let's get it set up. So, English. Hello. Uh, metric. Okay, so I have to re-record it because the microphone failed and it didn't record anything from uh, the setup. So I'm gonna go through the setup and some of the functions of the watch. So to to set it up, you've got three buttons here on the left hand side, and then you've got two on the right hand side. Now to get into your setup menu, you press the middle button on the right hand side, press and hold. And you see it goes through a function. So it come, this is the setup menu. So you've got your memory. So this is for when you want to look up your uh, memories for uh, altimeter, barometer, and so on. So you can set waypoints. Uh, and um, if you want to memorize certain times and dates, it will do so. And then press, now if you look at the screen, you can see little markers here and here, here. So these tell you what, what to press. So if you press this one, it will take it down. Now, let's try it again. Been talking too long. So if you press uh, the bottom one, it will take you to the down function. So it'll go down to there. And then if you press this one, it will take you to, it'll take you backwards. And if you press the top one where it's got the plus, that will take you back to the home screen. Um, so let me just show you. If you press that one, it goes straight back to the home section. So if to go back into the menu again, press and hold, uh, press the bottom one, that takes you to the date, time and date. So if you want to get into that function, press the middle key again. So it takes you to your alarm to set it, press again the middle. So you can see it's always got little markers here to show you exactly what to do. So you've got an arrow here to show you down, an arrow here to show you up. So at the moment the alarm is off, so if you press the top one, it will turn the alarm on. Press the middle one, it will take you to your hours. Press it again, take it to your minutes. Again, you use your little arrow here. So if you want to plus it. So if you press and hold, it will zip through the minutes, same with the hours. And then if you press again, it's all set. 
So uh, if you go to the next one, it takes you to your countdown. Same thing again. Press the middle, take it to your minutes, plus and minus seconds. So the, the countdown um, is for 99 minutes. So you can set it for 99 minutes uh, and 59 seconds, so basically 100 minutes. Same thing with the time. Press the middle. So this is to set your, your normal time. So hours, minutes, seconds. So you can set it precisely to whatever minutes you want and seconds you want. So once you, you're there, press that. It goes back to your time. Middle one, uh, bottom one again. Takes to your dual time. So that to set for another time zone. Same as setting just your normal time. Skip through up and down for your time. Minutes. And it's set. And then your date. Now your date, what it does, it first asks you your year, whatever year you're in. Put your year in, plus or minus. I think this one, um, it started at uh, 20 something. I can't remember now. Um, so once you set your, your year, press the middle again. Stick to the next one. Month. Day. And then as you're moving the, your day, you'll see it will change Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so on, so on, so You don't need to set your, your uh, whatever day of the week it is. And then press the middle again. And that sets your date. And that's that menu. So if you go back, if you press the this one here, this button here, it goes backwards. So it takes you to your, your main menu or your, your setting menus. So we've looked through the date. So next one is the sunrise. This is to set the sunrise and sunset. Oh, I pressed the wrong button there. Let's get back into the menu. So it will ask you your location. The The way it sets it is, is by location. So I'm in Europe at the moment. So select Europe, select your region. So I'm in Western Europe. And then the closest city to me is Manchester. So the downside of this is it's not 100% accurate to your city. So you, the closest city to you uh, could be about 100 miles away or 50 miles away. So it's not going to be that accurate. So if you if you want something more of your sunset, sunrise time, don't. this will give you a rough general idea, but not 100%. So select it by the middle one. That's your sunset, sunrise. And this is your barometer and um, altimeter. Now, with your barometer and altimeter, what you have to do uh, is you need to set your actual base for your altimeter um, for your altitude. So you look up your whatever your city you are or whatever uh, point you are uh, around the world, and get your um, uh, altitude, and then you program that into your uh, altitude. And then that way it will go up and down to, according to that uh, that baseline. So that's something that uh, you need to do online. I haven't done that yet because I have to look it up. Uh, the next one is a really helpful thing. I always have this one set on um, storm alarm. Um, what happens is it checks the um, air pressure. So when a storm is coming, so this is really useful if you're out in the countryside, uh, out in the wilderness, um, and it, it will tell you that a storm is coming. And it does work. I was actually surprised how accurate this is. A really good function to have if you're out, out and about. So definitely turn this one on if you have this watch. And then go back. So then you have your compass. Now to set your compass, um, it doesn't come, you need to uh, actually calibrate it. So when it comes, uh, it will. you come to your um, function here and then it will tell you to rotate the the watch so you just got to keep it flat and rotate it now it does take a bit of time sometimes um i rotated it for about almost two minutes uh before it um, actually changed to the um, calibration that it's set uh, but once it's set uh, i would uh, calibrate this every so often because it can get uh, thrown out uh, and it's gone back to the time so let's go back so we've done the compass and then you've got your general. So this is for your button tones, uh, your tone. Ga I would I would leave this on. So this is all your little buttons here. So I'd leave that on because it's something really worth having, I think. Um, you, you will get used to where all the buttons functions are, but they're just handy to have. Now your backlight, 
this is your your light button, your your right bottom. So this will turn your backlight on. Um, I'll do a shot of the backlight. So this is what the backlight looks like. Uh, it's a lot better than uh, the black one, I think. Uh, the black one does uh, glow, but this is just a lot better. Now with the backlight, you can have set the light button to that one or you can have it to set to any button so what happens is wh whatever button you press the light will come on this is something i wouldn't recommend because it will drain your battery like anything so um i would just stick to the backlight to be on the bottom right um it just makes life a little bit easier uh, and then you've got your languages so um as you saw at the beginning um i selected english because it's english and uh, and that's all the functions. So you've got all of your functions there. Now it is a bit of a pain sometimes when you want to set your um, your uh, your time and date. So you've got your countdown timer. Um, so it's some when you want to set your countdown, you've always got to go into this menu. Um, I would have much rather they'd done it easier from the actual home here. So you could go straight to your um, countdown timer it just makes life a little bit easier so to go through the functions you've got your bottom left so once you press that this is a screen that I normally leave it to so I'll have my time and date uh, and then you see this little marker every second so that's your running seconds now when you press the bottom uh, left you can see the seconds also come here so you can have this and this if you wanted if you didn't want the time and date uh, I tend to leave it time and date because I don't need to be 100% accurate but if you wanted to count your your seconds uh, just by glancing at it you can turn that on press it again so that is your dual time so whatever time zone you second time zone you've uh, you've set it to that's really helpful that's this is very good for when I'm when I was traveling with my other one um, it just makes life a little bit easier so you can you can either have this one at your hometown uh, and then change this to whatever your country you're into very useful uh, function to have I like the fact you can see both time zones in one and you press it again so this is your sunrise and sunset so the Sun will rise at 441 and set at 937 so we're in summertime here so we get a lot of daylight uh, during the summer periods here in England and press it again uh, this is your stopwatch. Uh, so uh, you can see here, you've got the little marker there. So underneath where it says start, you've got the little uh, marker. So when you press the start button, watch the uh, marker move to the stop. So you see it's moved to the top and you could hear the tone change as well. So when you stop it, it will go down. And then you see this one light up here. So this is to reset. So if you see it again, that one's gone off, that one's moved to the top, and then press it again. And that's come back, and that's gone to the start. So if you press and hold the top right, that resets it, and then you can see it's disappeared. So that's your stopwatch. Um, um, I believe it's 23 hours, uh, 59 minutes, 59 seconds, so 24 hours, basically. And then you have your timer. So again, your timer, you've got to set in the menu for your settings which i would have much rather they'd have a way of doing it here it would save time same as the stopwatch uh top left press and it starts it and stops it and then you can turn everything else off apart from your time uh if you want just to have that um i as i said I prefer to have it at this function. I just like uh, to, to know my time and date uh, and day time, uh, what day it is. It just makes life a little bit easier. And I do like the fact that this has got this running second all the way around. On the regular, you can see it has all the stop, start, light, um, mode, and so on, so on. But on the all black, it doesn't have any of this. Uh, I, To be honest, I, I prefer the all black in that way. This does take a lot of space. Um, I don't think this should necessarily needed it um, because if it didn't have it in the all black, you don't really need it on here. Um, to go to your barometer and altimeter and compass, so you press the middle key on the right hand side. So that takes you to your altimeter. Uh, so you've got, uh, at the moment it says 81. So I don't know if that's accurate or not uh, because I haven't set it. Then at the bottom you have your temperature. Now, um, in my video of the other Sun 2, I did say about the temperature. 
I, I'm, I don't really take much notice of the temperature because the watch is on my wrist. It's actually reading my wrist, uh, it's reading the temperature there. So it's not actually air temperature. The only way you can do that is if you actually take the wrist uh, watch off your wrist and then just put it down and just leave it for some time and then it will uh, register whatever the air temperature is. So um, I think more of a gimmicky thing. I don't think it's something that um, I, I, I guess you, it could become handy if you have your watch on the outside of your sailor, your jacket. Now, one of the good things about this uh, strap is they have got uh all the way to the end so you could fit this round a really thick coat or jacket so you could use it in that way so if you've got this on uh, a big heavy coat uh, it would fit and then you would give you more of the outside temperature so in that way it would work uh, also here you've got your time so that's something another thing I really like so you can have your altimeter but you can also see your time some other watches they won't have that uh, so you press it again that takes you to your compass. So this little marker here is your, let me take my finger away. Uh, that shows you your, uh, I'll use this instead. Is that any better? No, it's not. Uh, that will take you to your heading. So that's your north setting. So wherever you move your your wrist, it will stick, it will go to north there. So, um, and then obviously it's got your um, heading there. Now, the other good thing about this is that this is rotatable left and right. So you can set your whatever, heading you want to go to it just makes life easy so you know how to, it's that way now again referencing back the all black uh, this doesn't have any aluminous pips at the top yet the all black does so that makes life a little bit easier for the all black so when you move it around to wherever you want it's much quicker to see all right those are the pips there so i like that why they didn't put it on this one i have no idea uh it would have been nicer to have that and then press it again and that takes you back to your home screen all in all um i think i got an absolute bargain price uh for this watch um i wouldn't have bought it for that price i wouldn't have bought it for the price it is um at the moment it's a, a 201 pounds uh i think um there are better smart watches um for that price for for 86 pounds this is fantastic i think it's great for what i need um, I just need a general, uh, just a general watch when I can wear at the gym, when I'm out uh, in the countryside. Um, it can give me my heading if I need it to. And um, it, it's something that I can wear. Um, and I don't have to worry about it. It gets scratched up. The very tough watches. I mean, this one I've had now for five years. And if you look at the condition of it, you wouldn't think it's uh, five years old. Uh, in the back of the watch, you've got this... Uh, uh, Kate, well, you've got this um, steel backing. So on the back, you can see it's got 30 meter water resistant. Now, a lot of people message me um, when I put um, the video of this one or the, the review of this one. Uh, they seem to think that this is a diver's watch, but it's not. It's an altimeter, uh, not a depth gauge. So Sun2 do make dive watches. I have a Sun2 uh, D3 uh, as my dive watch. Uh, so they do make fantastic dive watches. That's why I like Sun 2 so much. This is now my fourth Sun 2 that I have in my collection. Um, so I've got this one, the other all black, a Vector, and my dive watch. Uh, they make fantastic tough watches. Uh, so this is 30 meters water resistant. Uh, now some people will say to you, don't take it swimming, don't take it in the water. It's absolutely fine. Um, as long as the seal is okay. Now, you can change this yourself. You just put a coin in there and it will just open up to change the battery. But if you're going to do that, buy the pack where it's got the new seals in. Because if you don't seal it, then water will get in. Then don't take it swimming or anything else. Or if you're going to buy one, the, one of these secondhand, um, change the seal um, if you're going to take it anywhere near water. I've never had any problems with my other watches uh, when they've been sealed properly. My first Vector did have a problem um, because of the seal. Um, it didn't seal properly and condensation just kept getting in, even by me just wearing it. So you can take it swimming. Don't worry about it, especially if it's a brand new watch. Um, I'll wear this. I've gone swimming with my all black with uh, in a pool in the sea. I've not had any issues. I've gone snorkeling in it. So... Um, it's absolutely fine. You're not going to have any issues with it, but a fantastic watch really happy that I got it at that price uh, Keep checking the website um, 
like they made a mistake. I definitely think they've made a mistake with with it yesterday because it's changed today. So keep your eye on the website. It may they may have some sort of glitch or something. And if you do get the chance to buy it at uh, for that price, um, I would highly recommend this watch. It's an absolute bargain for for that price.